the reigning Stanley Cup champs are out. I repeat, the reigning Stanley Cup champs are out. Seattle Kraken defeat the Colorado Avalanche in seven games. 4-3 Seattle. Wow. Wow. That is just incredible. New kids on the block. Second season. Coming back from a season where I think they what they had 60-odd points last year. They hit the 100-point mark this year. They make the playoffs. They come up against the reigning Stanley Cup champions. And they win. It's just, that's incredible. Uh, w- what a performance from the Seattle Kraken. I mean, we, we did make mention of it in the series preview that this was one of the upsets we could see happening. I just uh, I think Seattle's uh, defensive structure is, is stupidly impressive. Um, and they've got a pretty consistent four line um, on on the offense as well, so yeah, it's, it was something that we we definitely saw coming or thought could happen, but wow, yeah, that's that's phenomenal. The, and and the big part was the question mark we had on it was can their goaltending hold up in playoffs? Um, because that's been the big question for Seattle all all season. Their their, their goaltenders were under nine hundred for the entire season. Which is just phenomenal. To make the playoffs and not have a goaltender above 900 is just insanity. Um, but Philip Grubauer, to his credit, he turned up in this playoff series. Uh, 0.921 save percentage against his old, old crew, the Colorado Avalanche. What a time to turn up against your old teammates. Um, yeah, impressive. That's that's all I can say about this. Um and and they bounce back too because after winning the first game three one, um, which you know was a shock to everyone, they they went to Colorado, they got the win. It was it was a great start, but then, you know, the Avs win take game two. They go to Seattle and they take game three, um, six to four. And you're thinking, okay, here here we go. The the Avs have hit their gear. They found their straps. They they're ready to go. Um, crack and take game four to overtime. Um, which was just, you know, they got out to the 2-0 lead. Rantanen gets two goals, who, you know, mind you, was absolutely phenomenal in this series. Seven goals, um, goal a game average, just ridiculous. But, yeah, levels the levels the game up, and then Jordan Eberle gets it done on the power play in overtime. That game there probably turned the series for them. After losing the last two games, if they had lost that in overtime, it goes 3-1. They go back to Colorado. You probably say, yeah, game over. It's, it's done. Um, but they go back to Colorado and they make it 3-1. They're, uh, 3-2, their way. And all of a sudden, you know, you're beginning to believe that this could, could happen. Um, but what a, f- you know, phenomenal game seven after Colorado, you know, leveled the series at 3 all. Game seven, I mean, oh, Lekkonen, what are you doing, my friend? Colorado Avalanche, 2-0 down, they get a goal. <laughs> Nathan McKinnon scores the goal. It hits Mika Rantanen short. It just brushes his short, so Rantanen gets credited the goal. But, you know, fantastic goal by, by McKinnon. Then, again, he does it again. Man does it again. Scores. Makes it 2 all. You're thinking, here we go. We've got a game. This could go to overtime. Who knows what could happen. It, it's, it's, it's crazy. It gets called back because Lekkonen, who I don't even think was involved in any of the play leading up to the goal, it, he didn't make a difference in the goal actually happening, is... Well offside, the goal takes, you know, what, 10 seconds to review and it's called back 2-1 Seattle. Seattle hold on for the rest of it and eliminate the reigning Stanley Cup champions. Oh, it was just heartbreak to see that. And 
I looked at it and thought, wow, to, to get it called back and be called offside, it was offside, 100% it's offside, but how must Lexington be feeling right now? The fact that he potentially cost them cost them going further, you know, a, a second round berth to the playoffs, um, and he wasn't even involved in a lead up play. It's, yeah, yeah, it'd be absolutely heartbreaking if you, you were him right now, but in saying that, you know, you got a Stanley Cup, you won it last year. Um, can't be too greedy. They've got an absolute phenomenal side, Colorado. They're not going to, you know, it's not like this is their last shot at a, at a Stanley Cup. Um, they've had a lot of issues, obviously, even in the playoffs. They they were without their captain, um, Landis Gog. Uh, Kyle McCarr was missing. You had Miss Chushkin, um, the, the issue with him. So, you know, they had a lot go against them this year. Uh, so I think, you know, they go back, they go to the drawing board, they have a you know, have a have another preseason, get everyone fit and healthy, ready and raring to go. And I think Colorado will bounce straight back to you know, into being a Stanley Cup contender again next year. I don't think this is the last time we'll see um Colorado in the playoffs. I think you're gonna see them in the playoffs for you know, probably in the next three, four, five years and I think you're gonna see them as you know, genuine contenders for the next three or so years as well so if you're a Colorado fan you've already won one Stanley Cup I still think you've uh, you've got another one in you potentially so it's not all doom and gloom but as for this season your season's done um, and as for you Seattle fans wow what a uh, what a second year to have after after the disappointment that was last year especially with all of the pressure from what Vegas did in their first year um, but to do what they've done this year is just incredibly impressive um, if Philip Grubauer can play like this Seattle can go a long way because that is really the one weak point of, of Seattle is their goaltending has been all year they, their ability to, to limit shots um, their, their defensive structure is so sound um, and they they do they have a genuine four lines that can chip in, um, yeah they're consistent all over besides that goaltending. So if Grubauer can show up and show up consistently throughout this playoffs, uh, be wary of Seattle. They could go very far. They come up against Dallas in the second round, which is going to be very tough. Dallas have a quite a good offense. Um, They've got a reasonably good defense and they've got a very good goaltender as well. So, you know, Seattle will need Grubauer to be on his on his A game again because the goaltending could be what determines that matchup. So, yeah. Well, there you have it, guys. Seattle defeat Colorado in seven games. Let us know your thoughts down below. Did you see this coming? Did it shock you? What were your thoughts on the series? Uh, my my opinion is how good of a series that was phenomenal. I loved watching it. Each and every game was was entertaining. Um, yeah, let us know your thoughts down below. As always, if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, take care.